Okay guys, this is Dave Burns again, uh, looking at a an update for you all, or all of you, all three or four of you, uh, regarding the fountain that we're creating for um, a home in the East Bay, San Francisco East Bay that is. And uh, what I'm showing you here is the, I was going to say finished, it's certainly not finished color-wise, it is completely ugly in terms of color because I've had to do a ton of heat both to flatten it and to join the two panels. And so it'll be completely clean and recolored as, as we discussed. But this is that sheet and what I'm doing right now, what I'm hoping the camera will pick up, I'm gonna see if we can get in here, but I'm, this, it's upside down by the way. This piece will be the water uh, inlet or it will drop down off of here. I'm pointing up upwards, but that's the way it's gonna go. Back in here are the little tiny holes. They're not shoot, they're about three sixteenths of an inch, spaced every inch. So we should get a good flow all the way across. And by the way, we're going to need a pretty good amount of water supply. Um, uh, Mr. Designer, when you're thinking about the pumps, uh, we're, as you, we talked about, we're going to have two. And to get a good wash across the face of this whole piece in those small holes, I'm, I'm hoping we'll have a pretty good supply. I'd rather be able to turn it down than to wish we had a little bit more and, and not quite have it. Um, there's not an awful lot more to show you today. This has been pretty much the effort that I've been doing. Uh, I don't know how much this little camera will pick up on texture and items that I really enjoy doing because I try to put in as much variation as you might find. I use a smaller hammer in a few places and I use a hand hammering in a few places. And I had to mask. There's a seam right here which shows up now a little bit more than I believe it will in the final coloring. Especially when the water is on, I, I rather doubt that anybody will see it or find it. You see some very tight veining in here and then a little larger here. Uh, trying to mimic what you might find in a, in a real-life uh, botanical situation. Um, but we have all the rest of the tubing sitting right here, ready to go. Uh, well, far more. I have a couple of other projects following this. But I'll be building the back wall frame next. It'll be coming up uh, probably later today or beginning tomorrow. This is Thursday, uh, May 2nd, I believe. Uh, the, the thing that I'm stuck on right now, I say stuck not because I don't have an answer, but I'm trying really carefully to get the water to flow out appropriately. By that I mean I don't want any water to sneak around behind the panel. I'm trying to be really certain by hanging it upside down and clamping it, and I'm going to braise it together just a little bit at a time, making sure that we flow the water all where we want it to go. Then I'll put supply lines in the back into this cross tube, and I'll try to co I will coordinate them with the uh, framework, so that there won't be any extra plumbing for the water supply other than the framework that this will this will sit on. Um, so I think that's it. I don't I don't I could probably prattle on and bore you to tears, but. I think that's all you need to see today. If it brings up any points or questions regarding uh, texture, really, is the only thing we really have to talk about. The color, I know, <laughs> it's horrible. It doesn't hardly get any uglier than this. But that's just the way it is. Every single process, uh, project that goes through the shop goes through the ugly phase. And right now, you're seeing the ugly phase. Only one other little detail. What I'm going to do on the edges, I think you'll agree, hopefully you'll agree, Instead of having this really straight line up and down, I'm going to follow one of my squiggly wiggly lines and kind of trim it in and out to follow those lines just a little bit and to give it uh, just to heighten it a little, give it a bit of an organic feeling. Okay, so I think I'll let you go with a short one today. That's where we are. Uh, any questions, give me a shout. Otherwise, stay tuned for next week's matinee. Take care. Bye for now.